Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to see just how many tasks we can do with this Jeep right here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you find yourself watching more than one video, then it's a good sign that you enjoy the content and you want to be notified when new videos are posted. So click that subscribe button to join the Pickle Jar community. Over 75% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you want to help me out, and make sure you click that subscribe button. So it was a couple weeks ago now, and I was watching a live stream from Normal225 on Twitch, and he was using this Jeep Rubicon to plow up a field, and it got me thinking, just how many tasks could you perform in Farming Sim using solely a Jeep? Now I imagine anything where it comes to where we'll need a PTO to power the machine, we're pretty much out of the picture, but we're gonna try and figure some stuff out. And we're going to see just how many things we can do with the Jeep and just how versatile it is. It might very well be the most versatile piece of equipment in the game. In order to do that, we needed two things to start. We needed one, the Jeep, and two, a trailer adapter. This thing will let us go from a trailer hitch all the way to a three-point with hydraulics and control whatever implement we may be using. The only issue is this does not have a PTO on it. So I would be curious to see if somebody can make a version with this with a generator on it that happened to power the PTO. And then you could literally do every single task with this Jeep, but I digress. So the first task I think we need to put this thing through is plowing up a field. Now, I don't know how big of a plow we can rock with. So we're just gonna go with this gigantic 2720 combination ripper. It's nine, it's nine meters wide and requires 465 horsepower. Our Jeep, our Jeep is rocking about 240 horsepower, so she might be a little underpowered. All right, I don't want to talk about it because I feel kind of stupid, but I just realized because I wasn't paying attention that that thing's not three-point attached, and I don't know why I was thinking it was. <laughs> so we actually can just connect the Jeep right up to it, and we can get to work. Now, the Jeep has a top speed of 86 miles per hour, which makes me wonder just how fast this thing will allow us to pull the implement. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure the operating speed is determined by the implement itself as we almost tip it. Jeez. But nonetheless, I'm going to hope that we can actually pull this thing a little bit faster than we could any of other standard piece of equipment. We wrecked the Jeep already. Luckily, I have the power of Satan on my side, and I can just pick this Jeep up made a deal with the devil. I met him down in Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was willing to make a deal. I know this is absolutely stupid, but if it's possible, this could be a game changer. Anytime one of those farming farming tournaments come up and stuff where they're like, oh, you, you, you know, you, you got to save some money. You know, you got to be strategic about what you buy. What, what piece of equipment will you buy? Well, you could just buy your implements, buy an adapter and use your freaking Jeep the whole time. All right, we could go to the entrance of this field, but I don't think we'd be doing the Jeep any prom or uh, any any credit by doing that. We got to put it through its paces. See if we can just pull it right on through the ditch. Look at that. No problem. No problem. I don't even know what's in this field. What are you? Okay, we bought the land and we should be able to actually plow this thing up now. Oh my gosh, look at that. So this plow requires 400 and what? 35 horsepower, I think it was. And we're rocking no more than 240 horsepower in the Jeep. And we're able to pull this no problem so far. Seven mile an hour, pretty strong. Although I would say that's a little bit on the slow end for pulling this. Oh, we're slowing down now. Come on, Jeep. Come on. I mean, it's working. Could you imagine just driving down that highway and you come across that turn there and you're like, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that a Jeep pulling a plow in a field? I don't know about you guys, but I think Jeep uh, is going to give John Deere a run for the money. I think they're going to become very prevalent in the farming community now, right? <laughs> Oh, but it looks like any slight hill is where this thing is at a bit of a disadvantage. Come on, Jeep, come on. I know you're like 200 horsepower underpowered, but you can do it. I believe in you. Just pretend it's a rock and you're about to crawl it. Come on, Jeep. Pretend that another Jeep owner is about to pass you and you guys are going to do that weird Jeep, Jeep hand signal that I don't understand. All right. Well, I think we've seen enough of that. I think it's pretty certain that, yes, it'll do this. It'll plow. It can plow fields. However, uh, maybe don't go with like the biggest plow that one can buy. Although it did fairly well, I mean, in the grand scheme of things. Now the only reasonable thing is to uh, just yeet this Jeep into the stratosphere real quick. Oh, well, that didn't work. Oh, hey, we got the Jeep stuck. Ha! Success. Now, right about now, I'm sure you're wondering, Jake, is this whole video going to be about you playing with the Jeep? And then t the answer to that is yes, but we're going to see just how far we can push this. How many things can we do with this Jeep that you never thought you'd be able to do in Farming Sim? Okay, so hear me out. I'm highly, highly doubting that this is even remotely possible, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to see if you can run something with the PTO on the three-point adapter. I'm going to go out on a limb and say the answer is no, as this is purely intended to be able to pull things around the yard, which is unfortunate. In the words of the great Matthew McConaughey, hey, 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 be a lot cooler if you did. So somehow you can still control the hydraulics, which I don't quite understand, but I'll accept. But can you turn it on? Holy, wait, 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 what? What? I wasn't expecting this to actually work. Woohoo! 
Oh, oh, I just got excited. Oh, you, you, yeah, we about to buy this land. Hold on. I don't, I can't buy this land, but we're going to find land that I can buy. And we're going to, we're going to cut that freaking grass with a Jeep. You already know. You already know this is about to happen. Can I turn you back off? Oh, oh, oh dear. Controls are hard. Okay. We have just opened up a realm of possibility now. You don't even need the PTO attached to run the piece of equipment. That's how powerful Jeep is, baby. I can't decide if people are going to be in the comments like, yeah, he must love Jeep. Or people are going to be in the comments and be like, he's making fun of Jeep, isn't he? <laughs> the world may never know. <laughs> All right, grass. Be ready to meet your worst nightmare. That nightmare is Jeep. Okay, well, long story short, the grass isn't ready to mow, but you can totally freaking do this. Let's just accelerate time until this grass is ready, shall we? Here we witness the Jeep waiting patiently as time flies by and we move more closer to our inevitable death on this earth. The cycle of life continues. Rain falls, plant grows, man cuts plant with a Jeep. Tis the cycle of life. Well, that's pretty whack. This grass isn't even mowable. But there is a grass field right over here, so I guess we'll buy it and go give it a try. All right, grass, you win this round. I'm going to go mow your 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 brothers from another mother. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I started this whole video as a joke because I didn't think it was actually possible to, you know, do every single task with a Jeep. But now that you can actually run a PTO with a Jeep, I I I I'm not exactly sure if I should be excited or sad. All right, here we go. Jeep versus grass. Let's do it. Can it actually, oh my gosh, it can mow it. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. And I just want to point out, this isn't even, these aren't even mods. These are stock in game. The Jeep is a mod rather, but but the, the attachment thing and the mower are stock. They're in the game as is. You could just replace the Jeep with the standard in-game truck and potentially still be able to do this. This is, this is ridiculous. All right, well, so far we've confirmed that you're able to plow fields with the Jeep. You're able to mow hay with the Jeep. What else can you do with the Jeep? All right, so I know what you guys are wondering. Okay, Jake, so you can mow hay with the Jeep, cool. But more importantly, can you plant a field with the Jeep? And uh, well, let's find out. All right, so we've got a planter connected to the uh, trailer adapter and we've got it full of corn seed as well as fertilizer. Let's go see if you can plant with the Jeep. I'm thinking you probably can. I was a little safe when I picked the planter that I was going to use for this. I picked a planter that had a three point hitch on it. So I knew I could put it on this adapter because I think it's the adapter that allows you to run the PTO. Good Lord. Although now that I think about it, you don't even need a PTO with a planter. So yeah, we should absolutely be able to plant with this Jeep. Even if we did need the PTO, we should have been able to plan with the Jeep, but I digress. All right, we're back up here at that little stretch that we uh, we plowed out earlier, and we're just going to plan straight into it. And now, if you can plow, you can cultivate, so I'm not worried about testing out the cultivator here. Oh my gosh, we were able to turn on the planter. This is getting ridiculous, y'all. That's unfold. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, bad buttons, bad buttons. I had that fo unfolded the whole time. All right, well, let's drop it down. And yes, you can absolutely plant a field with a Jeep and actually at a fairly good speed too. We're going nine mile an hour. This is getting ridiculous, guys. Is there anything the Jeep can't do? All right, well, we got all the way to the end without any problem whatsoever. So I'm going to say that that was a success. Um, The Jeep plants, no problem. All right, guys, well, I'm sold. I think with that, we have proven that you can do everything you need to do with the Jeep. I'm not even going to test anything else because if you can run a PTO, then like, the possibilities are pretty much endless that's gonna do it for this one guys short little video testing out the jeep and uh, in case you were wondering you can actually farm without ever using a tractor in farming sim didn't know it was possible until just now but hopefully this opens up your, uh, the realm of possibility for you guys uh, i'm curious to see what you do with it anyways thank you all so much for watching this video and until next time i'll see you all later Yeet! oh that didn't work at all